if we load something on the ship what happens to list so let's start with this vessel suppose displacement is 10000 ton and kg of the ship is given which is 6 meter and km is 8 meter now we load here a small w say 100 ton and we define the coordinate say this is k and this is g which is 6 meter and we are looking the ship in transverse direction that means this is port side and this is starboard side the cargo loaded is somewhere here the distance from center line is 5 meter say this is center line and distance from keel is say 10 meter so we load some cargo here and this is W well we need to see what is the initial list moment initial list moment is 0 because we assume that vessel is initially upright vessel is initially upright now we have to see what is the list moment caused list moment caused is weight multiplied by distance from center line so here weight is 100 and distance from center line is 5 so it gives me 500 ton meter now the naming name of this list moment will be towards the starboard because ship will list or incline towards the starboard it is very interesting to note that if we discharge something from this side again we take the distance from center line however if we shift something then we take total distance why because a shifting is the combination of discharge and loading Hence, in case of shifting, we take total distance. However, in case of loading, we are discharging. We take the distance from center line. Now, let's find the final list moment. Final list moment is the algebraic sum of both these list moments. So, it is 500 ton meter towards starboard. Now what is the final displacement? Well, final displacement is the initial displacement plus we loaded something which is 500 tons. So let's try uh, 10,000 plus 100. So that is 10100 ton. Now let's have a look on this diagram suppose we load something in vertical direction we didn't load on center line or even if we loaded center line also we loaded uh, something here in vertical direction that will shift the center of gravity in upward direction g g1 the center of gravity shifts towards the weight loaded so here weight loaded is on the upward side so center of gravity also shift in this direction and we can find the shift uh, just let me write the formula that g g1 shift is given by w into d divided by wf this is upward so w is 100 ton and d is the kg of the ship and kg of the weight the difference between the two and wf is the final displacement which we have just now calculated 10100 now let's work out what is kg of the ship and kg of the weight so kg of the ship is 6 meter and kg of the weight is 10 meter the difference of these two is the distance so well the kg of the ship is 6 meter and this is uh, 10 so we can write 100 into 4 divided by 
10 now just a matter of simplification these two zeros cancel so it is 4 divided by 101 let's use Kelsey this is 4 divided by 101 so we get 0 0.0396 if we round off this 6 here it becomes 4 uh, it becomes 0 so it is 0 4 0 0.04 can we can safely round off to 0 0.04 meter now if we assume that this km has not changed or this is the new km the question does not specify at this level so we take this km as the final km although km will also change with displacement so this is the km and this was the kg so we just draw this small straight line here this is k this is g and this is m m and this g g1 is shifting upward so new gm is gmf gm final which is uh, gm uh, gm is kg is 6 meter and km is 8 meter so the difference is uh, now 2 meter minus 0 0.04 so that is 2 meter minus 0 0.04 so it gives me 1.96 1.96 meter now gm has changed why because we loaded something that has changed my kg all we have to do is just go in the formula 10 theta is final list moment which is 500 divided by w which is 10100 and GMF is 1.96 the finalist moment uh, let's cross check the finalist moment is here 500 ton meter and we use here in this formula WF is 10100 and GMF is been calculated here so let's find the value say 500 uh, divided by bracket starts 101100 zero, one, zero, multiplied by 1.96 so 1.96 bracket close all right we get this answer now shift 10 inverse gives me 1.4468 I can round off to 1.447 1 1.447 degree well it is very important to write the direction of list moment and here I think we have uh, okay that's pretty important yeah so we loaded on the starboard side vessel is listed on the starboard side we take list moment as starboard can round off in degree in minutes uh, with the same example so degree is 1 degree 26 minute and 48.67 uh, and if we uh, round off here 48 divided by 60 gives me uh, 0.8 so 1 degree 26.8 that's uh, 1 degree 26.8 minute is also right answer now something we need to talk about a list moment suppose this was a straight line and this was the pivot point so if I load something here and I denote this one is as a port side this one as the starboard side and this is the center line this is center line if I load it here and the distance is d1 my list moment of loading will be w into 
d1 turn meter and of course the direction will be towards the starboard now if i discharge something here w and the distance is d2 so the list moment of discharge will be w into d2 turn meter and this will be again towards the starboard side here we assume that the ship is behaving like a seesaw and is uh, uh, listing about the center line so the list moment of shifting and shift is nothing but a combination of discharge and load so if we shift something from this point to this point i call list moment of shifting is the combination of both these and both are starboard so i can add together is like one apple and one apple becomes two apple so w into d1 plus w into d2 this way all i have to do now i take common w and bracket is d1 plus d2 what is d1 and d2 let's have a look here d1 and d2 is the total distance shifted d1 and d2 is the total distance shifted so w into d is the uh, list moment on the starboard side and again the direction will be towards the starboard because this one is also towards the starboard and this one is also towards the starboard it is very essential that on a ship like this if i sh this is port side and this is a starboard side if i and this is the center line so if i shift something like this like this like this even if i am crossing the center line or not doesn't make any difference the effect of list moment due to shifting will be same now the thumb rule in case of loading or discharging we take the distance from center line and in case of shifting we take total distance shifted